Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I know you always come here for the tea. So, but today you don't get tea. You're gonna get chicken tenders, fries, some peaches, and some orange juice. <laughs> Okay guys, real quick, you guys know the little couple housekeeping rules. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you be a part of the chatterbox if you're 18 years or older and you do have a dollar and 99 cents to give to your girl. Yes, um, because I like fries too. But um, seriously guys, I decided that I wanted to do a little something different on my channel or as a part of my channel here and there. Um, as you guys know, um, I have a decent sized platform. I have a pretty decent sized following. So I thought, why not take advantage of this, right? Um, so, you know, a lot of people watch me, whether they like me or they hate me, they still watch me. So I do appreciate all of your views, but I think it could be a benefit for more than just me. So what I decided to do is every now and then or whenever someone sends me something, here's an opportunity for you guys. If you guys have like such as this fake food, um, which as you can see, this is fake fries and ketchup and chicken nuggets and fake orange juice with a little straw in it looks very real or play food I should say because I don't know how fake it is and then you know this of course and um so this food was made and sent by Ed Kerr T it's on Facebook is ED dash C U R space T T E E um you I will put her name in the description bar if you guys want some fake food for a role play for your toddlers um and she makes all kinds of stuff and also here is his breakfast which is really cute it's some cereal it has fooled many people that came in here even Gabby, which Gabby was kind of, she was she was kind of mad at first. She thought I was giving them her cereal, but um, yeah. So this is definitely really nice if you want to do some role play with your babies, and you know, not really use real food and make a real mess. So I really really love that. I thought that was a great idea. Um, it's very affordable. But like I said, this is just something that I thought if you guys have something such as pacifiers, baby bottles, beers, knitting, sewn blankets, that type, any type of baby accessories that you guys want to send to me and have them featured on my channel and in, in my videos, I will stop and take a second to give out your information and link your information um, provided, um, I will not be responsible for any sales or transactions. However, I will promo them on my channel. Um, if you want to send your products for me to sample or whatever you, you know, you have, um, I will say, like I said, accessories and everything like that, unless it's a prototype or you know, um, yeah, basically, unless it's a prototype, I will not promote or advertise any other artists because that's kind of like Walmart um, doing commercials for Target. It just doesn't mix. <laughs> so, so um, otherwise, I just thought, you know, just something extra for the community. People can see your stuff, know where you're at, what you got going on. Um, I know in the past I've gotten um, pacifiers from Nima from Facebook, which is very nice. I don't have one right here at the moment. Wait. Oh. Well, Ada had one at one point, but I guess she don't have it anymore. 
but um yeah so if oh time's up <laughs> um if you you know you have certain things um look akira actually also does pacifiers on facebook just going backwards just showing telling you guys but technically if someone sends me stuff um like that and they send me their information or what they you know where they their contact information included then i will share your information out there um i think it's a great way to network in the community um i think that you know it's also good for me to be able to show different things um, a lot of us is always looking for different accessories and things that we can um, purchase for our babies, especially us YouTubers or Instagrammers that, you know, do a lot of photos and props and all that great jazz. So that is that. Um, do not. Um, never mind. I was going to say. I'm not going to say it because then you guys will do it because it's kind of like, you know, but I'm just going to say, um, yeah, so I will actually show this little cute guy later. He is rocking his little outfit from Auntie Cassandra, which fits him so perfect because at first I thought, oh my God, this is not going to fit him. But I was like, you know what? It does fit him perfect. He like so sweet and lovable. Like I literally, this is the first big baby that I've had this big that I actually want to take to work with me. Like I literally want to just pick him up, put him in the car and take him everywhere I go. When I took him to my mom's house and he was sitting up on her bed with um, India. You guys remember India, my toddler, which is very, a small toddler. Um, Betty by Natalie Blake is so small compared to Lim. And my mom was like oh my god he's way bigger than her and you know it it made me feel so proud to see my work and just the growth and I was just like okay guys sorry this is a commercial for myself I'm tooting my own horn give me a minute <laughs> give me a minute wait wait give me two minutes um but seriously I was just so proud of myself you know and you know you have to sometime you know I beat myself up all the time I critique myself very hard because of the type of dolls that I collect I also let that um dim my light a little bit I also let it take away from me stepping out there selling my work because I feel like a lot of people are expecting me to be on the same level as an artist that's been painting for 20 something years that's a master artist and because that's the type of work that I've collected um, over the past few years so I feel like people want me to be on that same level and I don't want people to get it twisted I'm just getting started baby whoa whoa let's get it started uh, 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 uh. okay I know I always gotta make a song about everything but <laughs> But seriously, um, yeah, so I am proud of myself. Um, I don't know where I'm headed in this art. I also want to, you know, take the moment to let you guys know, please understand that I do have a full-time job. I am a full-time mom and I am homeschooling and I, this is, has been a hobby for me, but it has been passive income for me um as well from time to time i think i've indulged a lot more and almost made it almost full time um but i don't want it to ever become where it's so stressful and it takes away the fun i realized the other night that i haven't been able to really enjoy my collection because i've been so busy working but the good part about it is i actually enjoy painting as much as I do interacting with my babies, but I do have to have a downtime. So I, I've i heard a lot of artists say that they work nonstop and they, um, they work nonstop, but they don't, and they don't take days off. Like, you know, people message you 24 seven because there's no shut off on, you know, messenger, whatever. I mean, you just don't have to log into it. I know that sounds simple, but you know, me, I have a problem. If I see a message pop up, I'm going to open it normally because I'm nosy like you guys, you know, I'm a Lola. So, you know, 
but I've learned to shut down a day or two for myself. So when people see me doing videos or, you know, see me interacting with my dolls or taking photos, hey, I get a day off too. So, you know, that's the way I've had to look at it that way. I have to maintain my platforms, my, my channel, my membership, my Instagram. Um, I have to maintain those things because that is part of who I am, part of my business, part of my fun, my hobby, and all that great jazz. So I'm not going to make this video very long, but like I said, um, my address is in the description bar. Um, please guys don't freak out. They haven't, the ones that have not know, noticed the address before, the address is a secured box for me. Um, it's not, you're not going to pull up to my house if you think so, but you can try it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Police live right next door. But, <laughs> but, um, seriously, um, but I really, really, um, I don't know. I just thought this would be a good idea. I wanted something to add to the mix. You know, guys, I'm always adding stuff. But like I said, um, also, guys, like uh, the outfit that he's wearing, like I said, came from Auntie Cassandra. Just a quick shout out to her. She is San, San Babies on YouTube. Um, she also have a lamb, but she has a girl. Um, not Roro. Roro is the other baby. Oh, Lord. Okay, I can't remember her name right now. Sorry. You guys know I can't remember stuff. Anyway, that is it. Um, like I said, one last look at this. I need to do something. I don't know. Like, he will, he will hold his head up. Guys, I know I'm all over the place. He will hold his head up. But... Sometimes it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know if you guys do this too, but it takes me a while to get him propped the way I want him. And maybe that's just natural. That everybody does it and I just feel like it's just me. I got some cinnamon in this stuff. But, um, you know, but he doesn't, um... Yeah, but I, I I feel like other people' babies look a little bit more stiffer and more set up. So I don't know. Maybe I gotta overstuff him or something. I don't know because I didn't like overly weight. I didn't really weight his head to make it fall or anything. But he does sit up. He will sit up. Like he'll sit up. But it, sometimes it's a challenge. But anyway, he needs his hair done. Look at him. I was actually doing a changing video of him and um, <clears throat> my battery went dead so I didn't get to finish that. So I said, you know, I'm going to finish dressing him and get him over here. But anyway, guys, like I said, I got to go. I will talk to you guys later. I will try to get some pictures of Mr. Phoenix. Um, Mr. Phoenix, like I said, is Lynn by Bonnie Brown. He is painted by me and rooted by my rooter. He is my lovely, lovely toddler. He is the only toddler I have. I don't know if I will collect another one. I, um, but I do simply love him. Again, in the food, the fake food, play food for role play, you can get that from Ed Curti, which is Tanya on, um, she's, that's her name, but I mean, blah, 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 blah. her Facebook is Ed Curti, um, and you can get food from her if you're looking for some play food. And again, once again, before I go, remember, guys, if you have something that you want the world to see and you would like for me to sample it on my channel and give out your information, I am willing to do free promo for you for that. With that, um, I am any type of baby accessories listen honey you can send me a whole stroller if you want to listen i'm just playing but yeah um but that's that i'm gonna try that for a little while and see how that works um baby clothes baby knit see how he just fell back who told what is you doing you looking at the light 
<sighs> boy, little boy, little boy. Look at him. See what I'm talking about? Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.